everyone. Thanks for joining me today on my YouTube channel. And I was, um, I had Alexis here with me and I was practicing with her and not practicing, but just kind of going over what I was going to say. And she was ready for a nap. So I had to put her down. And so she's sleeping. She may wake up right now in a minute, but she's sleeping right now. And Cabo I also had to put up. But um, I just couldn't get through what I needed to say without them both just, you know, um, interrupting me every five seconds. So, anyway, it is Easter coming up this weekend, so I just want to tell everybody Happy Easter, and I hope you have a wonderful holiday, and uh, you get to see the Easter Bunny. Um, hopefully, we're going to take Alexis to see the Easter Bunny and let her do her first Easter egg hunt, which um, she's not. She's gonna watch everybody else do it, but I'm gonna have a little something for her to do here at home since she just learned how to get around and crawl. We're gonna do a Easter egg blanket hunt <laughs> or something. Uh, getting to my first project, um, I've had a lot of people um, ask me uh, what kind of cleansers and things they should be using for their skin. Um, and, and their face for different reasons and first off you always have to ask um, what kind of skin type do you have so I do know of something that is really 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 awesome um, that it doesn't matter what skin type you have it works wonderful with all skin types and that is the Clara Sonic facial brush um, it's vibrating and it has these little nice bristles and brushes and it comes with another one so you can change out the heads but um, it works wonder f wonders for your skin um, you put a little bit of cleanser on it and you just do your face I think 20 seconds on the cheeks 20 seconds on the forehead and it's uh, really awesome it takes dead skin cells off and stimulates collagen um, it's good for oily skin it's good for dry skin combination normal everything this is your all-in-one just it this thing is really amazing um, I first got it when I first found out I was pregnant oddly enough and people would just say wow I can definitely tell you know you are pregnant because you had that pregnancy glow but it was not a pregnancy glow it was the clear silent glow I truly believe and you can do it up to twice a day and it actually takes less time doing this than washing your face with traditional means, like with a three-step system. Um, you still need moisturizer with this, but it gets it six times cleaner uh, than any other kind of wash you could do. So it's really awesome. It's an investment, $200, but in my opinion, it is just really well, well worth it because it'll last a very long time. Unlike some of the knockoff uh, lower brands, they, I've heard that they um, stop working in a couple of months because you get this thing wet. I mean, it does get water on the head. So just make sure, um, you know, it is an investment, $200, but you can use this thing forever. And I even travel with it because I love it so much. Um, so that is a great product for moms, non-moms, men, whatever, if you want to look like um, you have nice glowing skin all the time. A product for babies that I really like, if you're a mom or if you're a mother-to-be, these are the ones, they're like, they're called a sleep sack. This one is Alexis's, and it's um, made for uh, six months to a year, I believe, and it's really soft material. Um, their arms come out the sides, their head out the top, and the zipper the zips up and down, so you dress them for bed in this, and why I like it is because of SIDS, when Alexis, we brought her home, I didn't believe in using anything, you know, but the fitted sheet in her crib. And no toys, no blankets because of the suffocation, choking hazards. I just didn't want to take any chances. So they make these in all. This is a lightweight for kind of the, the summer. They make a thicker one for the winter or depending on uh, the season and depending on where you live and how you like your home to have air conditioning or because even you know we we turn the air conditioning on so I still like to make sure she's warm at night so she still sleeps in this and I love it for her I really do 
So that's something that you're definitely going to want to um, get if you're a mom-to-be or if you have children. And um, I think after a year you can stop worrying about the cover thing with SIDS, but until then I love them to wear these and they're, they're very handy. Um, the other thing is I know um, when I'm feeding her at night, something that um, I love is having my Kindle touch. Actually, this is for the daytime because you can, um, you know, I can be feeding her. I can do a lot, be doing a lot with her engaging and still having my book handy. Um, and it's not like a traditional book where you have to worry about turning the page. You know, you need both hands, basically, to read. So, um, and it's also great to correlate. Um, I have an iPhone, so I love my iPhone. And I literally would read um, about how to um, get her to sleep. Um, so it's good. By three months, I read about sleep training, and Alexis was three months when she was sleeping, eight to ten hours a night. And uh, so um, just remember to keep your brain engaged when you have that baby because you don't want to feel like, you know, thanks to phones and Kindles and, um, you know, the iPhone, you don't feel, as a mother, you don't feel cut off from the world. You feel like, um, you know, the Internet has made us feel like you're definitely connected and it's important to stay connected um, as a mom and not feeling isolated at all. And I, I have plenty of family and friends, but I know sometimes you feel like, People don't understand what kind of situation you're in. Um, I've never gotten depressed, but I do know that, you know, you might get a little cabin fever or something feeling like, wow, I have no freedom anymore. So I think the phone and the, and the Kindle really help with that. And, uh, and not talking on it, being connected to your books and Internet and things. And so that was really important for me to... Um, just kind of keep grounded and again reading the books on sleep training because babies obviously they don't come with a manual and uh, yeah they give you like a tiny pamphlet at the hospital on how to take care of your child they're like here you go and it's like oh my gosh I've had bigger uh, instructions on how to brew coffee than than a baby they give you like a tiny pamphlet and we had a coffee machine once that came with like a huge book and it's just amazing but um so literally, uh, babycenter.com was really good about kind of being being your manual through uh, the the life of your infant and baby and those important stepping stones. So um, one thing that I just remembered about, I have a friend that's pregnant and her back is kind of hurting her right now. So I t I was like, do you have one of those? Um, it's more in the in the later trimester. But it's, uh, it's this thing, and it's basically like this elastic belt, and there's different things that you Velcro. It's quite a contraption, but you put it right under your belly because um, as you're expanding, your abs are stretching. And you can't really use your abs like you could, um, you know, because they're stretching and they're, they're doing all they can to hold that, the womb together and in. And so this thing, I don't know what how it works. But it helps your ab well, I know how it works. It helps your abs hold your belly, and it takes a lot of pressure off your back. And it's really amazing. I got this one at Motherhood and Maternity. I really love that store. Um, and this belt, I think it was maybe fifteen, twenty dollars. It's worth it. I did not take this thing off in my whole last trimester, except for at night. So I really. I really, there's other ones that go up here and they do a lot of more complicated things, but this is the only kind that I needed and it helped a lot. And speaking of your muscles stretching, um, I was really, really afraid of stretch marks um, when I got pregnant because it's just something, my mother never had them, so I think it's something uh, hereditary that can happen to, in, you know, it just depends on uh, your skin, I guess. but. Luckily, I have no stretch marks, and um, people have asked me what they thought um, you should do for them, and I used the bio oil every time uh, I showered and would get out. I would lather up my stomach really good and nice and shiny, and also whenever I felt my belly starting to itch, like 
because it when your skin starts stretching you'll start itch itching and so I would just drink a lot of water I drank a lot of water period uh, during that time when I was pregnant but I think being hydrated from the inside out really helps and a lot of people swear by the cocoa butter stuff I got some of that but the smell of the cocoa butter was just a little much for me so I didn't particularly like that one um, the bio wool is really good though and um, I uh, hope this has helped you guys and um, as far as um, a, tr a new trend that I like I want to share with you guys I am in love with like Python anything Python printed I'm really into my shoes that I'm wearing right now have kind of a Python print to them and I really see see right there I really love them and these are a great height for being mommy because they still have a wedge but they're um, they're flat they're inclined and I really I really like them but I'm really into Python right now and I also really love gold jewelry um, I have this cool gold cuff on that uh, I just think is really Wonder Woman-ish and I like it so those are two of my favorite types of um, accessories right now so I think I hear Miss Pris is up now um, I'll have to show you part of the video last time when I had her saying mama the whole time and the dog was like going everywhere so I had to um, do it down here um, on the first floor where her room's upstairs and maybe next time I'll have to show you her room so until then I hope you guys have a wonderful Easter and um, stay tuned for more reviews and just talking about our lives as moms, girls, girlfriends, wives, parents, and sisters. Okay, and so you guys have a wonderful uh, next week. Okay, see you then. Bye.